During 2017, I struggled to no end with our swimming pool's water. After chucking in a full bag of chemicals for the umpteenth time, only to watch the dark green tint turn slightly lighter for a while, we started to consider converting it into an ecological pool. After the necessary research and planning, we started building on spring day of 2017. Welcome to the story of our green pool. This toad was performing inspections around the building site of his future home from early on. The water scorpion hitched a ride with some water plants. The water striders also joined the scene quite early on. It didn't take long for the firstborns to appear. The mosquito larva had a grace period of about one week, where after they disappeared completely. We have no trouble with mosquitoes breeding in the green pool since it contains enough other life to eradicate the larva. Strange little worms started spreading. The tadpoles which we imported with a shipment of water plants became authentic toads and all kinds of larva started staking their claims. These ones could be found only where the water flowed rapidly over the rocks and I have not noticed them again after the first few weeks. Dragonfly larva started scurrying around and larger tadpoles appeared. Soon the dragonfly larva crawled out of the water to dry their wings. Insects like bees also frequent the area for a drink of water. The waterfall attracts a variety of birds and we've already hosted a few finch nests over the water. Once our chicken thought she was a duck but the chickens generally stay well clear of the water. One evening we caught this toad clambering back after a night out. The choir performs for a few weeks during spring. This is followed by strings of toad spawn, which eventually leads to hordes of tadpoles. These algae play an important part in the system. Their growth is prolific, so they consume nutrients that are available in the water before other algae, specifically in the swimming pool, can utilize it. This causes the swimming pool's water to be much cleaner and restricts algal growth there mainly to the sides and bottom of the pool, where it can be scrubbed off periodically. It is important not to remove these beneficial algae all at once, since it would take a while to re-establish itself, during which time algal growth in the swimming pool would increase significantly. Children find all this life fascinating, and investigating in and around the green pool is always a favorite activity.